We're here at the One to One Mining Conference in Cape Town. Can you give us a brief background to Near Metals? Yeah, sure. Near Metals is uh, an Australian listed project developer. Uh, we developed the world's second largest lithium deposit, Mount Marion, with uh, two multi-billion dollar companies, a company called Mineral Resources and, and Ganfee. And that's been a successful transaction. Um, we've watered down, sold a lot of equity, and we've uh, just uh, about to settle the final tranche of equity, which will see us exit the mine. Uh, and we've made about $200 million off a $3 million investment. And so what are you going to do with those funds going forward? Um, we've retained some offtake, an annual offtake option from the mine, so we can look at producing lithium chemicals at some stage in the future. Uh, we just think in, at this point in the cycle, we're happy probably to be buyers of concentrates rather than sellers. Um, we've also got the world's most advanced vanadium, undeveloped vanadium project uh, in Australia, a project called Barambi. Um, it's a deposit we've uh, invested over $30 million into. Uh, we'll finish the def uh, definitive feasibility study and a chalk reserve uh, out later this month. Yeah, so talk, talk to us about your sort of key objectives over the next 12 months. So our key objectives are basically taking our, most of our projects through the DFS into the feed stage. So we've recently finished a front-end engineering design study for a lithium chemical plant. Uh, we've currently got uh, a lithium battery recycling project being piloted uh, up at SGS in Canada. We'll move that to uh, through a feed study in the second half of this year. Uh, and Barambi, as I said, the definitive feasibility study will be finished this month. We'll then move that through to uh, the front end engineering and design phase. So we're here at the one to one conference. What are sort of the key messages you're trying to get across to investors here? Um, well, pretty soon we'll, uh, we'll have about $135 million uh, in cash. Our market cap's 117, so you know, we think uh, it presents extremely good value with our, our growth profile. So we've got, uh, in our pipeline, we've got a number of projects at varying capital uh, intensity levels uh, and varying levels of IRUB that, generate, uh, that will generate significant value for shareholders in the future. And how have you found the conference so far? Yeah, found it really, really good. Uh, you know, we've had quite a lot of guys from the Northern Hemisphere down here, so it's great for us to come across from Australia. Um, and look, you know, there is, there is money out there for the right projects. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Rosie.